In the mid-1960s, the world of computing made a breakthrough that forever changed the way people interact with computers. At that time, American engineer Douglas Engelbart, working at the Stanford Research Institute, was searching for a way to make computers more natural and convenient to use. In 1964, he invented a device that everyone knows today, the computer mouse. The very first prototype looked nothing like modern models. It was a wooden box with two metal wheels that tracked movement along the horizontal and vertical axes. A few years later, in 1968, Engelbart gave his famous demonstration, which historians now call the mother of all demos. In front of a live audience, he presented not only his new device, but also hypertext, video conferencing, and other technologies that would become the foundation of modern computing. Few people understood the significance of that moment, but it was the beginning of the digital world we live in today. In the 1970s and 1980s, other companies began to refine Engelbart's idea. The biggest leap came in 1983 when Apple released the Apple Lisa computer, which was the first to be shipped with a mouse. This made the device familiar to everyday users. Soon after, mechanical mice with rubber balls became the standard, as the rolling ball transmitted movement to sensors inside the device. But the story did not end there. In 1981, engineer Richard Lyon at Xerox Park invented the first optical mouse. It was bulky and could only work with a special metal mouse pad that had a grid printed on it. Still, the idea was revolutionary. Instead of mechanical parts, movement was tracked using light. The real breakthrough came nearly two decades later in 1999. That year, Microsoft, together with Agilent Technologies, introduced the IntelliMouse Explorer, the first mass market optical mouse that no longer required a ball or a special pad. Inside, it used an LED and a tiny camera that captured thousands of images of the surface every second and analyzed them to detect movement. From that moment on, the era of modern mice had truly begun. Interestingly, the first mouse was made of wood and the name mouse appeared later because the cable resembled a mouse's tail. In its patent, however, it was officially called the XY position indicator for a display system. And although several decades passed between the wooden box with wheels and today's laser or wireless models, the principle has remained the same, making computers easier, faster, and more natural to use. Today, the mouse is not just an everyday accessory, but one of the most important computer interfaces in history. Its story is a perfect example of how one simple idea can change an entire era.